Hey, what's up guys? As promised in today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade your 2015 MacBook Pro uh, using the newest style uh, 960 Evo by Samsung, the NVMe hard drive, which is two to almost three times faster than the one that comes in the MacBook Pro. So we're going to get a little techy, but it's really quite easy to do once you follow this video. So let's zoom on in and check it out. Okay, so in my previous video, uh, at the end of my video, I explained how I was going to show you how to upgrade your 2015 MacBook Pro to be twice or almost three times as fast. But I do have to put a disclaimer that you're going to have to do this at your own risk, or for a few extra dollars, you could hire a techie uh, at your local computer store and have them perform this for you if you feel uncomfortable. But it's very straightforward, and uh, I'm just going to walk you through step by step and show you how to do it. And again, I'll put links in the description below on what you need to buy. It's really just three simple parts that you need to buy. And the first thing is gonna be the um, 960 Evo. Uh, you can do a 970 Evo or the Pro if you wanna spend the extra money, but I was able to find a 960 Evo for $149, and this is a 512 gig hard drive. So that's a nice, um, it's replacing the same 512 gig hard drive that's in there now and it's going to be a nice upgrade as far as speed goes. So that's the, the hard drive. Then you'll need to purchase the adapter for the hard drive, and even the adapter says right on it that it's for a 2013 to 2017 MacBook SSD uh, M.2 adapter. So we're going to be uh, using that in our process of installation. And I also uh, purchased a few tools that you'll need that are specifically for the MacBook Pros. And um, one is a uh, 1.2 by 25 millimeter star bit. And the other one is a T5, which is very common, uh, by 25 millimeter star bit. And when I purchased these on Amazon, and again, I'll leave the link, it came with this cool little um, tool for lifting up parts and whatnot. So basically, oh, and then you'll need a uh, external hard drive, USB external hard drive. I had one laying around. Uh, you can pick these up relatively cheap um, if you only have, and that's for backing up um, your software so that when you install the new drive, uh, we're gonna reinstall the software back on the drive and um, you won't be losing any information whatsoever. But again, this is do at your own risk or have a techie do it for you if you feel uncomfortable. So, okay, so the first thing we need to do is head over, head over to bonbic.com and download a carbon copy uh, cloner, specifically made for the Mac OS. And uh, when, you, when you go to their website, and I'll have the link below in the description, um, you need to pick what um, version of OS you're running. In my case, I'm running High Sierra, so I'm going to download the CCC5. If you're running uh, Mavericks or Mountain Lion, um, then you're going to want CCC4. So we're going to click on Download CCC5, and the instructions on how to install it appear right in front of you. So you just click on the download. I've already got it downloaded, so I won't um, reinstall it. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So let me close these windows out and we're gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it it's called carbon copy cloner and when it first opens up for you guys um, a window is gonna appear uh, and it's gonna say trial or purchase and you're gonna want to click the trial and that's gonna initiate the cloner and as you can see uh, I've, uh, it shows here my source is the Mac OS and then what I need to do, if you haven't done it already, is plug in your USB hard drive. Um, I'm running a, um, a 500 gig USB solid state hard drive, so it's going to be a little faster for me. Uh, and that should appear in your destination drive. And don't worry about any of these buttons, the safety net off and anything like this. All we're doing is making a cloned copy of your operating system and all your files and all your folders. Uh, over to this destination folder, which is the USB hard drive that I plugged in already. And then we're just going to click clone. Now, 
uh, where it's going to ask you, um, it's going to delete some files. So if you have anything important on your uh, USB hard drive, you're going to want to back them up first because uh, it's going to erase this hard drive. So we're just gonna say run now. And in my case, it's gonna run super fast because I've already done this step. So it's just basically rewriting over top of the files that I already have right now. Depending on how many pictures and videos you have on your Mac OS operating system, you it may take 12 or 15 or 20 minutes for this bar to go up. As you can see here, it's going super fast for me. You can use any external USB hard drive. I'm using a uh, USB 3 um, SATA drive so it's it's going to be faster if you have a nicer hard drive like that but you can certainly plug in a mechanical USB hard drive as well and it will certainly work uh, just as well. So we're almost done here. I guess it bumped up a little higher. Got a minute left so maybe I'll speed up the video here. Okay, so if this is your first time ever running the uh, Carbon Copy Cloner, uh, you'll be presented with a window that looks like this. And it's going to ask you, do you want to, uh, Apple, to clone Apple's recovery partition? And yes, you do. This is a very important step. Um, when we um, switch out hard drives and boot to that USB uh, hard drive, um, we need this recovery partition. So if by chance this window doesn't open for you, you can go to the left here on the sidebar. You have a sidebar here and you can click on your, your hard drive that you plugged into the USB. You can click on that and you'll be presented with this window. And right down here it says Recovery HD. And that's what you're going to want to click on and it'll bring up this uh, recovery partition. So and this is pretty fast. You just click on clone partition and it will just take a minute or two and it'll be done. And that's it. You've now created a complete backup of your um, Apple MacBook Pro 2015 hard drive. So um, that was uh, easy. <laughs> so we'll close all this out and we're going to go ahead and uh, shut down our MacBook Pro because now it's time to switch out the solid state hard drives. So let's move to that part of the video. Okay, so for the second part of the video, we're going to be removing the back side of the MacBook Pro. Again, uh, full disclaimer, if you don't feel comfortable about doing this, um, then please take it to a tech. They shouldn't charge too much to do this swap out for you. Um, the link to the description of the tools I'm using is, is down below. Uh, for the back of these screws, it is the 1.2 by 25 millimeter uh, star tip. I've gone ahead and already taken out the 10 screws. Um, I'm laying the uh, Apple MacBook on a piece of um, terry cloth and I'm facing the lid, uh, the hinge for the lid for the screen towards me. So. Um, uh, using the uh, plastic tool provided when I bought these two tools off of Amazon, I'm just going to simply pry a little bit on the back here and, um, and get my fingers under there and it just simply, um, there's a little hook here, it simply uh, pops open. There's two little clips inside that'll pop and once you get it popped open, uh, you just gently remove the, 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 the back of the MacBook Pro and set it out of your way. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, we're going to zoom right in on this chip here. This is the uh, Apple's uh, hard drive. It's the uh, NVMe hard drive. Let's see if I can focus. All right, so this is the uh, Apple uh, hard drive. It looks very similar to the um, Samsung uh, NVMe 960 Evo that we're going to be re replacing it with. And as a matter of fact, this uh, one is also labeled Samsung, so Apple must be using uh, Samsung for their hard drives. So taking um, the other tool that um, I purchased on Amazon, again, link below, this is the standard T5 star bit. 
uh, which um, we got to undo this one little screw here that's holding that hard drive down. So I'm just going to unscrew that. And then using that plastic tool that came with those two star bits I bought off Amazon, I'm going to lift up that hard drive just a little bit. You, it doesn't go completely up. You have, to, you have to pull it out sideways. So we're just going to wiggle it a little bit and bring it out like that. And that's it. Okay. As you can see, uh, this NVMe hard drive, Apple's hard drive, is the same size and form factor as the adapter that we're going to use to adapt the 960 Evo, which I'm just going to slide in that slot right there. And it has to be seated all the way in so that you don't see any of these brass fins right there. And you'll hear it snap in. And again, you don't want to see any of those brass pins, and, and we don't. So that means it's in all the way. Then we're going to take it and slide it back into the same spot, these brass pins, into that same spot. Again, pushing that way now. We're going to be sliding it and pushing it all the way with our thumb. And you'll hear it click, and that means it's in properly all the way. And then the last thing to do is uh, gently push down on the 960 and reinsert the screw that you took out of the, um, out of the Apple uh, hard drive into the same exact spot where you took it from. And we're just going to screw it right in there. Um, you don't want to be, you don't want to crank on this. You're not trying to tighten it down super tight. You just want it um, tight enough, I guess. Uh, uh, I wouldn't crank too much on it. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So let me zoom back out now. Move this back over here. Okay, so um, focus in. All right, and that's, that's really all there is to it. We, all we've done is taken out this slower 500 gig uh, NVMe by Apple, um, and it says Samsung on it, and we've replaced it with the 960 Evo by Samsung using that adapter, which I have the link below for you. And then uh, we're just going to return the cover the way it was. And the cover, the back cover here, once you get it into position, you take a finger around this area and a finger around this area and you push and you'll hear it click. You hear those two clicks? And that's seated. So at this point, um, we can put the screws back in. I'm not going to bore you with me putting the screws. We'll just jump to the next part of the video. So um, let's jump to the next part of the video. Okay, so now that you've uh, put all 10 screws back on the bottom plate of your laptop, flip it back over and open the screen, plug in your USB hard drive that you made the clone backup on, and you're going to want to hold Command R and turn the power on. And keep Command and R held down um, for t uh, 20 seconds or so, I think it is. And uh, until you see the Apple logo. And now it's going, you can um, release the Command and R and it's going to boot from the external USB hard drive now and allow us to put the cloned software on the new NVMe Samsung 950 Evo that we put in. So this may take a minute because it is going through USB. Okay, so once you boot into your uh, external USB hard drive, you're going to um, come up to a screen that says uh, Mac OS Utilities, and you're going to want to click on Disk Utility. Two clicks, double click, and then we're here we're going to see our 960 Evo. It probably won't be named 960 Evo for you. Um, and then our um, uh, disk image, which has our backup on it. So at this point, we'll click on the 960 Evo, and we're going to, going to erase that and, and format it in uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled and you can name it whatever you want and we're going to say erase and that'll erase anything that's on that 960 Evo 
So just click done when you're done with that. Then we're going to go to the 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 uh, external USB hard drive and we're going to going to restore from see where it says restore from we're going to restore from that system that clone that we made and we're just going to click restore and so this may take um, 5 10 20 minutes for you um, it seems to be going quite fast for me and that's all there is to it then we're going to click um, we can close this out um, or or you can rename your um, ex your new internal uh, hard drive by going up to file and rename and you can name it anything you want super fast OS is what I'm going to name it all right, and that's it. So then we're going to go ahead and um, shut down the laptop. And after it's shut down completely, you want to go ahead and pull your external hard drive out of the USB. And then go ahead and boot into your new OS, uh, your old OS on the new 960 Evo. So we're just going to press the power button. Now since this is the first time um, booting into a new OS, it is going to take a little bit longer than normal. So don't be um, concerned about that. It's just trying to figure out um, that you just restored from a previous image of your old hard drive. And it's going to figure things out. And in a minute we should see an Apple logo and it should, should boot in to, win, um, to High Sierra. And sure enough, there's the Apple logo. And again, this takes longer than normal because it's the first time. Okay, as you can see, I'm, I'm back into uh, the operating system. Uh, all my programs have been restored from the uh, clone that we did. And... Um, and so now uh, let's do the test and see how fast it is here. We're going to run that launch that Aja system test uh, that I showed you. You can download for free. And on, the link again is in the bottom in the description. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, make sure we got 1920 by 1080, 1 gig. And the target disk is now super fast OS. So let's click start. And holy cow, look at that. We doubled uh, the write speed uh, plus 200 megabytes a second more and, and leaning towards triple the read speed up to 1531 megabytes per second. That is uh, just crazy. I'll put the two scores side by side so you can see uh, what we were getting before we did this mod, this, um, this upgrade to now. And... Um, and that's really what counts when you're working with Photoshop or Adobe Premiere or um, uh, Final Cut Pro. These write and read speeds are really going to help you uh, and make your workflow easier and better, um, much faster workflow. Just um, out of curiosity, I want to go over here to um, my utilities and go to the disk utility and there it is super fast OS X and it says right there Samsung SSD 960 Evo 500 gigabyte media um, so I'm, I'm super excited about this mod and um, it just is going to bring new life to all you uh, MacBook users that have an older 2014 2015 2016 model and um, would like to give a rejuvenation to your MacBook Pro. Uh, just out of curiosity, I want to shut down here um, real quick and I want to um, start it back up because I want to show you the speeds, the load time alone from pressing the power button. So let's go ahead and press the power button right now.
Now watch the bar. Look at how fast that's cruising. I'm not speeding up this video. Look at that. Boom. Done. We're in. So um, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you, uh, anybody um, that's running a uh, MacBook Pro or was thinking about buying the 2018 MacBook Pro for $23 or $2,600. Uh, you don't have to spend that to get those speeds. The, the processor in this, the older Haswell Generation i7 in the 2015 is smoking fast. And um, with 16 gigs of RAM, and now this, um, this NVMe hard drive upgrade is going to bring this in a new life. And, um, and I'll be taking this uh, on trips and everywhere I go, and I'll be able to edit videos and photos. So if you like this video, please um, hit the like button, subscribe for future videos, uh, leave a comment or a question. If you have a question, go ahead and ask a question. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.